Hello and welcome back to Dying Light on PS4. Last episode I did a, a very frustrating tutorial, if you remember, if you watched the first part. If not, then go back and watch it. You don't have to actually, it's, well it, it kind of explains a little bit of, it's like a little bit of tutorial about how the game works, like cures and seizures oh, and whatnot. Oh, you're so. the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizin. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you, but don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> or a man, don't make assumptions. Uh, table legs, that's what it is. Um, is this a, like a quest master? Items in stock, what? Oh, I pay for these. Um, it looks like these are free because I don't have prices on them. Take, 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 I guess. And the table leg. Forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, but go watch the last episode if you haven't, because I kind of explained things like... Just explain a bit about what's going to happen in the game, sort of. So, yeah. Anyway, on to free running. Who's dropping the drops exactly? Going outside, yeah? Yeah. Alright, oh, I've got to open myself. <laughs> oh. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. The musical sunlight. Okay, noob. You've got Dr. Zera set up in a semi trailer on a fenced in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. What's the sneak? I was never showing out to sneak. Whoops. Ah, oh, there mustn't be a sneak feature. Oh, there is. Circle. I just gotta get to the drop. If you watched the last episode, you've seen how much I got frustrated at free running, so I'll only do it if I really need to. Ah, I thought I could head jump. Uh, it's back up there. Oh, it's like the Mortal Kombat X3. <laughs> His voice sounds familiar. Can't think of what it's why I can recall it though. Who am I? Oh, am I going in here? Yeah. Knock knock. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here. Sit. Antizen. Postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, now where did I put that injector? 
And who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case, all right, I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Danke. Danke, Herr Doktor. Keep it fast. Rahim, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. That ought to hold you. For a while. Which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Okay. Keep a distance from Rises, man. They just hey, Spike. I'm Crane. <laughs> just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right. Shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with Antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without Antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day, because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Is he programming? That looks like he's programming. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Yeah, he is. The green text, that's a comment. You do two forward slashes to do a comment and it goes green, normally. So yeah, he's programming for no reason. Then he looks stressed. Look, ah, oh, actually, that's, that's realistic. It is stressful. Move, B, get out the way. Change equipment. I don't have any equipment, though, so... Some of the music. Okay, first the car. Open the hood, connect the battery, set all on the trap. That was easier than I thought. Jade here. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. Hello. Uh, I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runners tried to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. All right, I'm on it. Let's go, 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 go. I don't know what that sound was. Oh, there was something here. It was him. Oh, get over. You have an unspent skill point. I haven't been introduced to this yet, so... Oh, here we go. Oh, you have to hold. Keep forgetting. I always have one in Survivor. The only one I can get is... 
the starter kit. Well, if there's nothing else I can get, where was it do? Learn how to craft the basic things needed to survive lockpicks, firecrackers, simple throwing stars. Throwing stars? My god. And Molotov cocktails. Oh, that looks like a trap, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe I can kick him into it. Get over there. Yep, got it. <laughs> Eight quid. Do my weapons break? Oh yeah, it does. Like it's got life. I'm gonna switch back to a pipe then. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> That should eat it straight away. It's actually kind of fun, even though I'm just running around at the minute, it's kind of fun. No, you don't. I didn't know try to grab us. Oh, not gonna jump that. Mid air hit. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch Weapon's almost broken. Oh, badass. Oh. oh, man, I think it's too late for this guy. Oh, crap. Crap. It's the only way to make this place safe at night. It's not meant to do that. Thought I could throw my weapon, but I was wrong. Yay. Ah oh, shit. Don't think I need a store or anything. Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. What? I haven't. Oh, right, I need to go this way. <laughs> oh, I need to actually go to the top. It's a good thing I was heading up there. Crane here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Sure. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane. Thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. The infected are all over the street. So what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay on the rooftops where they can't reach you. Ow, I was being cocky. They're all around the car, Spike. 
You still have some firecrackers, don't you? Just throw some into the crowd. Those dead bastards are easily distracted. I don't have any more, I don't think, do I? Yeah, I do. Oh crap, this is not a good idea. <laughs> oh, this is not going well for me. Go. Cool. All done with the car, Spike. Keep on like that, you just might make it. The next trap's close by, and I should never tell you, but don't get caught out in the open. Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? Oh god. <laughs> Sun setting. Freaked out a little bit there because I thought I heard someone running behind us. Quite a contraption you got here. Three times brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Gives the effect of quite the sunburn. Oh, so it's... oh, sunburn. I think it would need to be a bit more than three times brighter than a street light. Street lights aren't very bright. Three times brighter is like a... A normal house bulb. Unless he's just speaking out of might be like a special light, I don't know. You know you're getting sunbed shops said to like extreme high, I don't know. Don't judge me. I ain't a light expert. gonna die. Oh. Need to learn from my mistakes and not a good. Right, so this game's a lot harder than I thought. I was being a bit. <laughs> Need to avoid them if I can. Oh, crap. Nailed plank. Why can't I pick it up? Oh, do I need to just press and I'll hold? Let's give it a go. Give it a whirl. Oh, I don't know why it is. I must have to craft that. I don't know. Oop, oh crap, oh. Okay, I've just alerted everything. That was not a good move. Luckily, I don't think it's much nearby, so... Yeah, not much of an issue, because there's not that many nearby anyway. Saying that, like... Well, I think I'm gonna. Oh, I leveled up. I'll do that and then. What do I level up? Agility. I can only get one. Okay, right, that's annoying how you have to hold. That's pretty cool. 
I'm going to end this one here. Next next episode is obviously going to be the sunset. And I'm going to do this bit, this last one, get to it, and then start again recording. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this, then like, favorite, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.